know, obviously there's hope that when you use these checkpoint inhibitors that we could, um, you know, improve patients' quality of life and perhaps get, or hopefully get, uh, control of, of their patient's tumor. But, you know, with any sort of therapies, especially these sort of therapies, I think it's important to also be aware of toxicities uh, for these, for uh, patients who have this. You know, uh, checkpoint inhibitors are known to, um, uh, because they release the brakes of the immune system, could really induce autoimmune disorders. Uh, the two most common or most concerning ones that, that uh, these checkpoint inhibitors induce is uh, our colitis, um, where you can get a, a very bad inflammatory reaction in the colon, uh, and pneumonitis, which is an inflammation in the lungs, and both of those can be life-threatening. So, you know, when you start these checkpoint inhibitors and, and you're new into the field, I think it's very important to understand uh, the toxicities for these patients because uh, you often have to recognize it and act early.